is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recorded? What's up to the lambs all across the land? This is your girl T.S. Madison, honey, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color. Are you ready? I need for you to buckle your seatbelts, baby, because of this is about to be a bumpy ride. You are about to get turned out with T.S. Madison. Yes, God. Hey, hey. Welcome to Turn That with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. This is a variety show for everybody, baby. The he's, the she's, the them's, the they's, and all the identities in between. Now, in a world divided by varying beliefs, opinions, traditions, and experiences, I, the T.S., am here to bridge the gap. Now, get comfortable, because we're going to serve some laughs, spill some tea, and share... Kiki, honey! <laughs> However, it won't be all fun and games. We'll also be covering the hard-hitting issues our society is faced with. Racial inequality, LGBTQ plus rights, and every other topic we ain't supposed to discuss at the dinner table, but we do. Now, y'all know me. I'm going to give it to you raw and unfiltered with a whole lot of love and a whole lot of laughter. So stay tuned, because I'm finna turn this up and turn this out and trust you ain't gonna want to turn it off <laughs> but I'm not alone y'all my engineer Nigerian Mo is here to help me chop it up on all the things that's going on in the world Mo what's up what's up daddy what, what, what? you know <laughs> how far <laughs> now listen what you said alpha I said how far oh you said how far I, I just put my said... accident on I, my accent on it That's oh what I man. thought you said alpha and omega you know you just was at church the other day you know <laughs> <laughs> so Mo I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across these posts child let me read them to you honey so All we right. can get into it let's go clapping on the internet but get mad when dudes inbox you is crazy so when when I guess when the person in the context is saying clapping it up like dancing, bending over, and you know like really seducing a man, you know with your with your cakes, <laughs> clapping right. it up, double cheeked up, you know on a Thursday afternoon, you know bent <laughs> over and stuff, all on the internet, and then when the man jump in the inbox, you know she 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 going, I'm like don't be inboxing me that, honey, you nasty, uh -uh. So when you see girls bent over and making it shake and clap on the internet, do you jump in the inbox mode? No, I really don't follow a lot of people that do clap clapping. Now it might end up on my Explorer page, and I'll, I'll most likely will look. I'm not gonna lie, I will look, but I don't, I don't uh, inbox them though. What stops you from inboxing them most? Because well, I know is because most likely people just do that. Just you know, they feel like doing attention. Stuff like that. So I know it's not to, I know they're not clapping their cheeks. For you. Yeah, for me to inbox them in the inbox. So I don't. But there's the a point? possibility they might be doing that. You know, you're not, you got to use your Nigerian power to say, come to me. <laughs> come to me, my friend. Come to me. You know, I'm bringing it in. But the thing is that, especially somebody that has, especially somebody like that, they have a whole bunch of people in their inbox. Anyway, so, this is the second thing that I want to, that I, that was, that really stood out to me. Okay. And it said, If you want your man to act right, you have to cheat on him and get caught once. Don't let me catch you cheating on me. I don't even want to, look, if you're doing it, be discreet. Cause I don't want to know. Cause if I find out, we're not staying together. Really? Yeah, we're not staying well, together. She said that they do this stuff, you know, in order to strengthen the relationship. You strengthen, you just strengthening your single relationship. That's what you're doing. Because we ain't, if it's me, we're not together no more. But here's the thing. Because if we having sex, my, especially if I catch you cheating, my, my image is going to be like, if we have, let's just say we having sex. Uh -huh. Now I'm thinking like, this dude really just had this girl in the same position the other day. No, I can't. You know, it's. Well, that means you got to come in and you got to knock it better than he did. I don't doubt that those skills. My issue is just that I can't deal with somebody, especially if I, especially me, I'm not cheating. You ended up cheating. I'm well, good. Not, I believe that 99% of the time, honey, the reason why the, the woman went into the cheating space is because the man did it first. You really think that? Those are my, those are my thoughts and I'm sticking to it. Yes, I, I do feel that. I can't agree with that one. Well, because you're a man. 
<laughs> I just occupy the two realms, honey. You know, so I can speak from both perspectives. Soulmates and Maddie Mob, I want to hear your thoughts on all this, honey. Join the live chat that's going on right now. You can also tweet at turned out with TS and don't forget to use the hashtag turned out. Listen to me, honey, when I tell you you don't want to miss tonight's show. Media personality and entertainment blogger Armand Wiggins drops in to spill the tea on his recent meetup with Kanye West and the reason why he supports Cardi B and is no longer team Nicki Minaj. My lawyer Kendra Stevens is here to talk about brand protection from a legal perspective. Also, she will be giving advice on some of the hottest celebrity legal battles going on in the media right now. And lastly, my good friend and Hollywood powerhouse Lee Daniels takes a car ride with me where he gives his raw, never before heard truth on Jesse Smollett and even former colleague and friend Monique. So sit tight because we've got a good one for you tonight, honey. You don't want to miss this. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. Honey, my next guest is no stranger to the internet, darling. This gentleman that's sitting with me today has been a very controversial vlogger, has stirred up some tea, spilled some tea, and caused so much drama on the internet, honey, with some of the biggest celebrities. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul, Armand Wiggins. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me on um, Turned Out. So let's talk about how you got here. Yeah. What, what was, how did you make it to be you know, uh, what inspired you or wanted you, made you want to be a, a blogger? Um, when I was a kid, you know, a lot of people always told me that my personality um, was so extra. I was always told, you're extra, you're so extra, you're so extra, you're so over the top. And you know, I always thought that that was a bad thing because growing up, I always, was, I always thought being extra is a bad thing. So I would try to like dilute my personality. It was one point, um, it got so bad to so where I wanted to, I went to the doctor and I had, and I got pills for that. You know what I mean? Um, what to try to, Vyvanse. Oh. I got that to try to like make me calm so that my personality wouldn't come across too extra to people or when I was in class or whenever I would just be in social settings, I would kind of try to dim who I was. And then one day I uh, ended up in Atlanta. Ah, what happened there? Um, I ended up in Atlanta. And um, I was on the internet actually, and a T.S. Madison video came on, and she was reading the girls, and she was talking about, you know, how much this painting was, or whose who, who's, who's car note, or whose house was on her wall. And I remember you were, you were reading the girls, I was like, who is this, she's a who, you know what I mean? And I was like, I'm gonna follow her. And um, that was during the time where, you know, I, I was really in a dark place, and I was like, I was living in and out of hotel room. It was just a lot, it was a long, it was a long journey there. And then I would watch her videos all the time. And like, this is before live, this is before any of that stuff. You would literally pre-record the videos and I would watch those videos. And I would be like, you know what? She gets me through the day. She gets me through the day. I talked to one of my friends and one of my friends, she was like, you know what? You need to pick up your camera and just start talking about your day-to-day -day life and just start doing your videos. And and that's what happened. So every day I would just get up and I would just start recording videos about some guys that I met or what was going on in Atlanta and people loved it. And then the rest kind of was history from No, there. no, no, no. Oh, oh, wait. There was one video in particular that you made. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you were in the mall and this white girl was stealing. Was she white girl or black? Was she white? No, or she was white. She was a white girl. Mm -hmm. She was stealing out of the mall. I, ne I will never forget this. She was stealing out of the mall and you had your phone up in the air and you were running with your phone like this running and you were filming her running and you were like recording live, recording live from Cumberland Mall. And that went viral. Yeah, I shared it. Yeah, I shared it. Now, let's fast forward a bit. We build a relationship, you know, um, uh, we work together a bit, you know, like a little hosting gig here and there. And then a situation happened. And I adopted you as my gay child because, you know, recording live was a piece of, is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? Like all of that. And I was on Facebook popping. You was on Facebook popping. You know, some other girls were on Facebook and stuff popping. And then, you know, in some space and 
area, you got mad with me. Mm. You got very angry with me. You got very angry with me and you, uh, you fell out with me. I never fell out with you. Mm. Like you fell out with me. And everybody out there that's watching, you know, if they see you, they know that you have like lots of videos and you, and you just speak your opinion and your mind and how you feel. And there was a time that, you know, that our friendship was up and then it went down. And I, I personally did feel that you were on a, a tirade of, you know, terrorizing me. And I was just like, I just really don't think that you understand it. And I did think that for a moment that you were on a tirade of a whole anti-T.S. Madison tirade. And I was saying to myself, like, I just, I don't think that he really, like, really under, like he doesn't understand, like, how this stuff really works. Because at the time, what really made me kind of like fall back or separate myself, which I should have been more vocal, because you were doing lots of commentary on trans people. Mm. And you ruffle, you don't really care about the feathers that you ruffle when you ruffle them. And you ruffled a lot of, of feathers. And, and even though there were some of the commentary that I agreed with, I was like, no, you can't do that, Armand. You can't say that. First, let me say this. That is something that if I don't regret many things in my career or come up or whatever I'm trying to build here. But one of the, the those that what, what I that, the, the thing that I did with you, I do regret that. I wish I would have never done that. Um, but I was young, right? I was immature. I was learning. I was trying to figure out. I was trying to really get my bearings in a business where I didn't truly understand it. Now, going back, the reason why I could say I was in that place is because I honestly felt like we were cool. Like we would sit on the phone. We would talk for hours and hours. And I knew, and I would put in work and I was doing, and I never really asked you for anything. Like I never asked like, come on my show, be a part of my show, anything. I'm, I'm a firm believer. I don't have, I'm not gonna ask nobody for nothing. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm dope and I'm lit in my own right. I'm not gonna try to body to get anywhere. I believe what's for me is for me and I believe that I'm talented enough when it's time for me to get there, it'll get there. But I, I can still pour into you, Yeah. right? And I feel like we can pour into one another. So I felt like you and I were in a place where we were pouring into each other, pouring into each other. And then, but then publicly it was like, Oh, I don't believe in him. But like, like, I felt like you would be like, oh, girl, you'll be my Judy when it's me and you. But then when the, when the rest of the world or when other people is around, you act like, girl, you didn't know me. And in that retrospect, when we were talking about trans people, I, under, I didn't understand how sensitive that was and where I thought I was coming from a logical place. I still didn't understand some of the traumas and some of the issues that that community you know, still was trying to fight through. And me being a member and an ally, you know, of the LGBTQ community, I was doing more harm than I was good, you know, on the grand scheme of things, you know? And so I didn't realize that. But when you, when you talk to me, you like, you know, child, like that just, the optics doesn't look good when you are out here flaming these girls up, whether I agree or disagree. I can't be aligned with that because I'm trying to go. And once you said that, once you told me that, I was like, why you just didn't say that? I understood that. I, like, that makes sense. I'm never going to tell someone to get out here and dilute or jeopardize their brand for me. Right. Because I wouldn't want you to do that to me. You know what I mean? So I definitely get it now. It's definitely come full circle. It's definitely happened to me. And in this business, in this industry, you definitely have to move a certain way. And I also realize there's a time and a place for everything. And so you can't, I, I just didn't need to be too urgent to try to get somewhere. My time is gonna come. Well, your time is now. Like, because, uh, because I'm, I'm watching you here, um, you know, in LA and, and, and I've, I've watched your star rise or whatever. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity um, uh, for us to fix that. Because you call me, I never blocked your phone number. No. And you call me one night and you said, girl, and, and we ran it for hours. Yeah. And after that, you know, I was, I, I've always, you know, when I love somebody, my door is always open, you know? And so my door was open and we started talking and we 
we, we washed through. It took some moments for us to get back into, you know, a space. And I had explained to you, I'm not in this space no more. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to survive as a, as a, as a trans person of yeah. color and, you know, with influence, I'm just trying to survive in the space. So, and then we started sharing stories on how you've experienced this and that or whatever. And so you started to understand, but you know, honestly, Armand, people would say that you do this same thing to your faves. I want to know, because I've watched videos of you lately, because I know that you at one point, because I'm a Barb. Mm -hmm. I am a Barb, B-A-R-B. <laughs> and I know at one point that you were a major Barb. But I've, as of late, I've been seeing you really giving a real... I don't even know how to say this. Is it a raw opinion? Because from the outside looking in, it looks like that you don't really fool with Nicki Minaj anymore. You don't really like her anymore because they're, the videos are like reading her down. So this, and see, this is where it gets interesting. Because you and Cardi B have a relationship now. I love, I love her, but... But let's talk about this. See, this is where it gets interesting for people that do media, right? Now, okay, how could I put this? Um, Just first put of all, it, put first it. of all, first of all, I definitely a Nicki Minaj fan musically. Definitely love Nicki Minaj, Barb, whatever you want to call it. I am a fan. I'm a fan of the music. I'm a fan of both girls. But we'll talk about the Nicki Minaj piece first. Um, I'm a media personality. I'm on YouTube. You know what I mean? I. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a blogger to, to a degree. Some people will know, call me a blogger, whatever. I have bills, right? And I have, and I have to create revenue, right? And so um, if I like you, right? It's all about relationship building too. So if I like you, Nikki, right? Mm -hmm. And you have certain stories that come out about your husband and your brother or whatever, whatever, right? I may not do those stories. I never touch those stories. Right. I right. never touch him. I might not do those stories, right? But when you're getting spammed in the comments, you're biased, you're biased, you're biased, you're biased. Why aren't you not being, you're, you don't have a balanced platform. You don't have a balanced platform. Then perhaps, you know, there's something else that comes out about a relationship that you've been in. Then I kind of give my opinion on it in a way. Then there's a problem. So my thing is, it's not that I don't like people, but understand this. Listen, I have to give my opinion, and people need to understand that us as media personalities, sometimes we really sacrifice a bag to, to appease people sometimes that we like. And then when people don't appreciate it, you're gonna get off. Because to be honest with you, I missed out on money not talking about certain things. But if you don't wanna appreciate that, well, girl, I'm not dragging you. I'm just not gonna ignore everything that's coming out. It's up to you. Now, Do you want me to ignore, you, you feel me though? Like, let's just be real. Recently, you were um, spotted with Kanye West. Absolutely. Let's that talk about everything. that. Let's talk about that for a moment. Um, How did that happen? Well, actually, Jason Lee from Hollywood Online, shout out to Jason Lee. Um, he invited me to um, the brunch, the, the media brunch, which by the way, Full circle moment for me. I was so happy to be there because you had people from Fox Soul, you've had um, Amazon, uh, Meta, you had journalists from Ebony Vibe Essence, um, BET, and then you had me, <laughs> the YouTuber. It was a moment to where I'm like, yeah, I'm here because for a long time, I didn't go to school for journalism. I didn't, I'm part of the new media, you know, and a lot of people look down on us. Like, oh, you're just a YouTuber. Um, I think Jeannie Mai one time. New media. I think Jeannie Mai one time said, uh, you know, they just let anybody, you know, re recording from their house get like credibility or something like that. And then that was before COVID, then everybody was recording from their house. But I think a lot of people like try to play down, downplay us YouTubers when, when you're independent, you don't have a bunch of cameramen. I'm independent. I do all this on my own. You know what I'm saying? And I'm reaching people. So for me to be doing, I don't have a bunch of assistants, a bunch of teams, and my look good. And so for me to be able to sit amongst those type of people, I was like, you know what? It was a proud moment for me. It was for all those times where people was like, you're extra. 
you talk too much, your personality is too over the top. And I'm like, wow, I'm sitting next to people that, you know, that some may not even think I deserve to be here, but I'm here. I was the only YouTuber in that building. And then there's Kanye West. And so that was a lot, that, and that moment itself was huge for me. So my last question for you, Armand, is mm -hmm. what's next for you? Well, what's next for me, honestly, it's just, I'm trying to get out here in these streets um, in LA and I wanna, I wanna do hosting. I wanna, I don't wanna tell too much um, because you gotta, you gotta protect some of your manifestations. But I will say this, um, definitely getting on stage is what's next for me. Getting on a stage is what's next. And so, um, yeah, and continuing to do what I'm doing now. I, I'm, I'm never in a place where I want to feel like I'm chasing Hollywood. I'd rather Hollywood be chasing me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not chasing that. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like when you start trying to chase that, that's when you start to lose. Yep. And so I'm not, in, I'm not thirsty for anything. I feel like I, I've organically gotten here. And so I'm, I'm gonna be true to myself, continue learning, build, foster great relationships, but then also be authentically me and keep doing the work. Um, and, and while I'm doing the work, keep setting up for when the opportunity calls, I'm ready. It's not controversial or drama when you are giving your opinion. And we all like to hear people's opinions. We love it. So there's a difference between opinion and pandering. I mean, that's just what I got to say. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Armand, listen, I love you. Thank you so much for being with me today. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Armand Wiggins. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this next. Hush. Welcome back to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. I'm joined today with my legal representative, attorney Kendra Steven. Today, we're gonna to discuss brand protection. Mm -hmm. Now, Kendra, you have been my attorney for a while now, yes. and um, you have really put me on to this whole thing of protecting my brand, protecting my intellectual property, and you know, just making sure that all of, I'm getting paid for everything I do and say. Yes. Now, I really wish that I would have had you earlier in the onset of my career, because yeah. a lot of my catchphrases that are being used around the world, Puerto Rican, is, you know, mm -hmm. something that I would love to have been compensated for. So tell me, like, what got you into the whole brand protection situation? Oh, that's a great question. I think it was looking at people constantly create content and not protect it. Like, we're in this space where everyone's creating, but everyone's not owning and they're not protecting, right? Remember I told you about that $400 million cash raise? Yes, you did. $400 million for saying, let's get ready to rumble. And he trademarked it and he was able to license it. And I think if a lot more people understood that, they would protect their content too. They're just putting it out there, but they're not protecting it. And so they're not able to properly monetize it. And like, just like hashtag step, you know. Um, I've watched my catchphrases be used in Drag Race, VH1, all over the place, HBO. And, it, and, and sometimes it gets me really angry, like when I, when I hear my voice and I hear stuff, whatever, and I'm not being, you know, monetized uh, for these things. And I'm so glad that you, you know, you came on board and started getting me in the right direction with that. It includes trademarks, copyrights, it includes contracts. A lot of what we're doing right now in order to get you the proper compensation is protecting. And then there's the next level, which is enforcement, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the ongoing thing. As you can see, as soon as you say something, you do a sound bite, it's everywhere. And so that's why we're like, hey, Madison, before you put this out, let's make sure we take the proper steps. So if it does get big and people do start using it, you already got that protection in place, right? But what do you say to a person like myself, you know, who is just a walking, I'm just a walking... Cash machine. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll say something that'll go viral today, like, just out of the blue, just me just... You know, and I'll find it all over TikTok. And I do see a lot of TikTokers and mm -hmm. Instagram people on their reels because, you know, people get paid for reels and stuff. And yeah. I'm like, these people are monetizing off of, can, can you uh, copyright. copyright your voice? Can you copyright your, what can you not copyright? 
So copyright registration is what you use for your content. So like your videos, your sound, your music, your movies, your blogs, your books, those are things that we protect under copyright. So even those sound bites that you have, but then you also have small things that would fall under trademark. What is the difference in between the two? Like, is it, is it not, are they not the same thing? No. So trademark is all about protecting your brand. So your packaging, your colors, your logos, your slogan, your name, that's all under trademark. Every time you wear, you know, Gucci, they have the double G's. That's protected. But let's say if Gucci came out with a book and they're like Gucci Fashion House, that's protected under copyright because it's a written work. It's content. That's what we call it. So your brand's content, copyright. Your brand itself, trademark. Wow. Yes. Years ago, I was in a vicious scandal. Uh-oh. I was in a vicious scandal because I was wrapped up into a situation where people were under the assumption that I stole a trademark. Mm-hmm. I did not steal a trademark. I registered a trademark, you know, to save a brand because mm-hmm. a- another individual that I was involved in business with had not stepped forward to you know, to claim what we were doing. And mm-hmm. I was trying to protect our brand from other entities in taking the situation or, yeah. or being able to monetize or take control ownership of it. Now, my business entity did not have my 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 partner's name mm-hmm. on it. However, that was not me, you know, eliminating my partner from mm-hmm. it. It was I stepped forward and I, you know. Proactive. Uh, uh, proactive in trying to protect the brand, yeah. you know, from outside forces. And, you know, people accused me of stealing the trademark, which was not the case. Do you think in any space or any capacity that I was wrong for protecting the brand or or was there a space that, uh, that down the line that, or in the space that I could have added her or added the person to, to the trademark or was I impetuous in trying to move and maneuver and not thinking? Because I didn't do anything with intentions of not locking my partner out. Now I can't go back and, and, you know, see your old conversations, but we'll take it from the legal point. If you guys had an agreement Mm -hmm. and you said, hey, we need to protect it and you taking that step to do it was fine. The issue that I would say as your attorney would be, hey, at some point we need to add her name. Mm-hmm. Which which was we not could have done. Which right? was not which had yeah. which was not an issue at all. Yeah, that's that was no thing. problem for, for yeah. that to happen at all. But here's the thing. This is also why having an attorney do your application is so important. So most people would do what you did. They'll put it in, they'll put that one person name, but not knowing there is a way to add both people, but it's not very clear. Correct. However, that's 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 to the wind mm-hmm. and we've moved on and we're turned out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. And I just wanted to know, you know, the errors into the into the situation. Yeah. However, now we're on board and mm-hmm. I've I've moved forward and I have trademarked my own name yes you have you ready for your gift? i, I want to see it let me see what it looks like okay well i brought this gift for you yes okay pull it over here this is your brand box okay this is my brand box ladies and gentlemen my brand box all right open it up this was this was put together just for you oh my goodness hold on i gotta move this out of the way let me move this <laughs> it is side. a big box it is a big well <laughs> look who you're dealing with darling so there we go. It's just congratulations. If, uh, if you guys can see, congratulations. And then oh. there's so much stuff. What is this? Well, that's your congratulations card. Okay. So okay, this is my card. And uh, now your certificates are right there. These go are ahead. my certificates. What is this? No, those are your certificates. Oh, these go are ahead. my certificates. Open certi- it up. Okay. Wow. Look at that. You're official. I am official. T.S. Madison, honey. I own that, ladies and gentlemen. T.S. Madison. Oh, oh my God. So I own my name. So listen, all you other T.S. Madisons out there, honey, that's in the world that I used to be in, get ready. Your days are numbered. (laughs) (laughs) There is another certificate in there for you because you did also register something else. Wait a minute. Wait. Are you serious? Yes. Hold on, let me see. It's funny that you brought up that story. Well, it was important. Ah, 
I own what? The Queen's Supreme Court. Yes, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yes, honey. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, we are about to do something very special with Kendra. I want you to hold on to your seats because the show is just getting started. We'll see you back after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. And listen, Kendra, thank you so much for all of that legal advice. Um, I think now I want to play a little game with you that I call Citizens Court. I will present you with several legal cases hot on the streets, mm. and I want you to tell me who would you represent, why and why not. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Netflix or Monique? I'm gonna go with Monique. Good, good. I'm gonna go with Monique. You know, I think a lot of what she is going through is unfair, and, and you know, honestly, it needed to be brought to the surface and we needed to address it because she's not the only person that's going through that. She's not the only person that ha has had that happen to her. So I think it's important that we, you know, we actually support her and she gets justice. Yes, all right. Jesse Smollett or the alleged attackers? I might have to leave that entire case alone. I read some of the documents and you know, it's so, it's just so very interesting. But I do know he's out on appeal. Mm -hmm. And I, I am interested in seeing how his attorneys work his appeal case. So if I had to do representation, it would be his appeal case. Because his trial is done. Okay. So now they're appealing the verdict. So I'll jump on that. I'll take his side because we do an appeal. Girl, I really watched him when he was appealing to get out. And in his appeal, he was doing every, he was using every method to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, like he was saying, he was immunocompromised and, and, and someone's going to try to take his life. It was just a lot of stuff, you know. I don't think it ever needed to get to this point. Uh, I know they're using him to make sure it's a great example. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you're using more resources to make him an example. I don't know if this should even have gotten this far. All right, P Valley or Nikki Gilbert? Oh, that's gonna be an interesting case only because in copyright, right? Copyright is to protect the right to copy. So if they're copying exactly as she has written, then I would probably have to go on her side. Right, because copyright infringement is a big deal. It's a big deal. But they've been several times. This is not unheard of. This is why you always say, don't submit a pitch without your lawyer. Don't you know get in that room without your lawyer having you protected because it is very common in Hollywood for you to make a pitch and then turn around and somebody else produces the same thing. Very, very common. Mm -hmm. I've seen it a lot. All right, and last but not least on the list. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tasha K or Cardi B? I'm gonna have to go with Cardi B with this one. The only defense for defamation is the truth. That's it. That's that's it. So if if someone is saying you are defaming them, the only thing you can say is this is absolutely true. So and the only way you can prove those things that you were saying about Cardi is if you uh, had her medical records. So. I'm gonna go with Cardi on this one. So you'd represent Cardi? I would definitely represent Cardi. I like it like that. Well, Tasha K says she don't have the four million, so how are we gonna get that? Her mouth got her in that trouble, so she needs to sort that out. This is why it's important, even when you're a blogger and you're on the online space, if you're gonna be talking about people and saying these are facts, then you need to be able to back it up. That's why you would see other people say allegedly, but she didn't, and then when she had the opportunity to back down, she kept going. Mm. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our game, honey. Y'all give Kendra a round of applause. <laughs> Kendra, I want to thank you so much for your time. Of and course. you know, where can the people find you? Uh, you can go to brandprotector.com. And that's just that simple. Yes, brandprotector.com is the easiest way to find me. And then of course on Instagram and places like that at Kendra Steven, but brandprotector.com. All right, you heard it right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Yo, I had my assistant, that little white boy right there took me over here. <laughs> I love you, Lee. Hug my love neck, child. Oh, I love you. Oh, my oh. God. First oh. of all, you look beautiful. Thank what is you. that, Fendi? 
No, this is Flindy. I don't got your kind of money. <laughs> this is Flindy, honey. You put an L with the E and E and D I you know this is the kind of money I got. I, love. I don't got your kind of money yet. I love Maddie Maddie. Now it wouldn't be right of me if yep. I didn't get you in this car. And mm. and and on my on my season finale I had Monique. I know. I had Monique on my season finale. Yeah. And and I wanna know, did you watch it? I did. Look, it's complicated. It's complicated. That's my little sister, and it's complicated. Do you do you feel like that she that she that she's like really been saying this stuff, and she's she's coming from a real place of? I think it's from her real place for sure. Oh, it's from her real place. It's from her real place, and I think that that's a very valid place for her to come from. Like I have a very valid. I feel very valid in my. Uh, I'm valid in my, in my feelings and how I feel about Monique, and uh, and I love her. And, and we probably will be working together one day. We will probably work together one day. I'm sure of it. She's but a brilliant. She's one of the. Oh, my hey, gosh. Hey, don't nobody got nothing on her. Nothing. And I can name all of them. Nobody. So she's one of a kind. And um. But, you know, it was what it was. And uh, she feels the way she feels. And, uh, and I feel the way I feel. And you love us both. So. I do. I love you both. Yeah, and so, I told her. I said, listen. Monique, you know, Lee is my friend. She poured into my career. Like, mm -hmm. you, RuPaul, Nicki Minaj, like, all, you have you have poured into my career and have, you know, really, like, boosted my star level on who I am. You know, because... because we know, but you know what it is? Because you are, uh, I don't know, I've watched you grow, like I was telling you a couple days ago, I've watched you grow and I'm just so proud of the woman that you are becoming and from where you came from. You remind me of, you remind me of the I grew up with. Who, where, where, where? All you, of them. Where you grew up? In Philly, in Philly, right? Yep. But you remind me of everybody that I grew up with. Your realness and you are, the fact that you're just, you just, there are no lies, there are no games. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. You know, and, uh, and so I saw that, I saw that and I wanted it, I wanted it with me. I want to tell you, mm -hmm. I never told you this, and I, I said I'm gonna. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna wait for the camera. We yeah, I will wait for the camera. No, no. Please, listen. What? I love you so much, and I'm not gonna even tell you no lie. I was so hurt that I didn't get one chance to even walk on Star and smoke a cigarette. I. That's why you know why? Because you're gonna we gonna get something even special, more special than that for you. I know, and we talked. No, about no, it. no. It's it, you. You. It's all in time. You I are. know, Lee, but it, but because I respect it, respect, not respect it, because I respect and love you so much, mm -hmm. I was hurt. Hurt? I ain't even tell you. I you was. Know, getting ready. To I know we feelings. getting ready to do <laughs> need to know that yet. But I, <laughs> <laughs> but I was so hurt because yeah. I was like, I watched all those people come on the show. I'm like, damn. Why didn't you call me? No, because, Lee, you know what? Why didn't you call me, though? For I, because, you know what? Star why? is a, listen, Star was your show. Star was made for people like, like us, mm -hmm. like us, right, okay. you know, so you could, you know, it's always a call away. You could, you know, put me in this role. Child, that's a million. We got a million. You know how many movies and television shows I'm working on? Calm down. Now, drive me where we going. Where we going? <laughs> I don't know. We just riding. You, you the well, lit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Christian woman. Yeah. So you hook up with your big daddy. Ah, right. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm somebody else. I was so hurt. Let it go. No, I am. I have let it go. Jesus. Us, Lee. Tell it. Let you why. it go. I got to tell you why. why? I got to tell you why. Because when I when when I thought about it, yeah. like later on down the line, I'm like, everybody was like, ain't Lee your friend? And he won't. I said, yes, that's my friend. L Lee, you made sure that I got paid for a catchphrase that I used. I know. You made sure that. So I, I knew yes. it didn't have anything to do with it. I just was like. I felt that I wasn't good enough because oh I God. yes because I wow. respect you so hard as a director. Oh, I, I felt that I was not good enough mm -hmm. as an actress to secure that part, and it was just like sometimes. Well, maybe you wasn't good enough. I probably wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe wasn't. you wasn't good enough. I wasn't. Wait, I said, this is a fried chicken. This is probably give you. I'm in the mood for some uh, Chinese food, spicy chicken. You want Chinese food? Not from here. This looks like they were giving. This is a thing. Yeah, you get rabies from yeah. right here. Scabies too. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning for you, uh, girl. So you need to strap that. I already strapped strap it up. It. Okay, good. It's strapped down actually. Yeah, good. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> but so Lee, we're talking about Star. Yeah. Oh my God. Chad, what I'm happened? So, 
I think that we were so ahead of our time with that show. We were talking about we were talking about Black Lives Matter before Black Lives Matter was even a big thing. Mm-hmm. You know, we were talk. We were we put we put King Amaya in that role. It was so ahead of its time. Miss mm-hmm. Lawrence, we put in that role. Oh God! I, oh. We had all three of them girls together. Uh, Jude and Brittany and and Ryan, three beautiful girls yes. together. It was. We were making a statement about the times that we were in. And in my career, I've never had the amount of um, people love that show. They keep calling me up, running to see when's going. When's going. and the thing is, I had no control over it. They, I don't know. It could have had something to do. I was. I'm about to ask. I don't know. Do you oh, think? Lord it, Jesus, I'm about to ask you. Lord Jesus, I'm about to ask you. Oh my God! To get me in trouble. I'm not gonna get you in trouble. Yes, you you, I know. Yes, you I'm is. Just, well, do you think that the Jesse <laughs> maybe, thing? The maybe. Jesse, Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I just think that, I think that, uh, the show was canceled. Empire was canceled. You know, I don't know. I, and then, you know, we had great ratings. Both shows, I mean, both shows chain, had incredible, incredible ratings. ratings. And we were doing, listen, Empire, before all of this, before Blackish, before, uh, was insecure, but all of them, we said, we said it. We said it. You White people the woke up and mm-hmm. said, oh my God, what is going on with this? They had never seen that before. And I sometimes I forget because I was so worried about Cookie's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> just, just shoes was going to be. But I wasn't paying attention to the to the impact we were having to the community. Mm-hmm. And with Star, too. You know, the impact. But I, listen, I'm still Lee Daniels. I'm still creating uh, shows that are... Uh, for us, yep. specifically for us. I got some stuff in the works. We got some stuff oh, in yes. the works. I mean, like, you know, this is just, I'm just putting on my, my high heels and, 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 and stepping out. Yes, baby. We just getting ready. If they want Star, this is Star. Star ain't going nowhere. Empire ain't going nowhere. I, I created that, you know? So and it's just going to be a different sort of, uh, a different sort of thing. Are you mad at him? Mm-mm. I was. I was. I was confused. Mm-hmm. I was confused. So what know? happened? I don't. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, when I tell you, he I said, says it didn't happen, and so I have to believe him because he says it didn't happen. So I have to believe him that it that he believes that it didn't happen. I have to believe him because that's the boy that I uh, cast, and that's the boy that I love. And and uh, he was you. He was he you. Was me. He listen. He he. It's too painful to talk about, girl. I can't. It's too upset. Did you cry, Lee? Like, you mm-hmm. cried when it happened. I cried as much as I cried when the show, when they told me my show was on the air. Because I knew that, uh, I knew that, I knew the impact that my story was going to have on America, you know, with all the homophobic crimes that were going on and all the hate that was happening in real life, you know, stuff that's happened to me, stuff that's happened to you. It's real out here. So I knew that it was important for us to tell our story through Empire. Mm-hmm. And so I was crying when the show got picked up. And when 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 Jesse's thing happened, I uh, I was in tears too. I even went public on that video. Remember that video I put out? Yes. And that's yeah. why people were. And that's why it's important for me right now mm-hmm. to make let you get your name clear from that because people was like oh Lee has something to do with that they do <laughs> I know you, what the f- yeah, like, I like, got, like I want my show canceled what the f- yeah, yeah but that's what they were saying were they saying that they were saying you know because yeah. I keep my ear to the streets yeah. and they were saying like Lee Daniels has something to do with that he but said that don't that make up. sense to it it does not and it, I, I was so unless confused you, unless you want to destroy your career unless I was interested in destroying my own career no, I think that it's just a sad situation and we will never have the answer to it, the real answer to it. Uh, but life goes on and, you know, as, as painful as that was, I mean, I had, you know, Billie Holiday come out that oh, I'm really, really excited It was about. so good. You know? Oh, it was so good, <laughs> Lee. Thank you. And, and I got other movies that are coming. I got my horror movie I'm getting ready to do with Andrew Day and... Um, Oh, you bringing her back? In a, in a horror movie. True story about a woman. You think it's precious, but it's not. There are demons in the house. And they are. you think that this woman is beating her kids. And halfway through the movie, because you think it's precious. And halfway through the movie, you find out that she's not beating the kids. It's the demons. The devils. 
Oh, yeah, it's really, really. I'm, I'm learning about tongue speaking in tongues. Hi, y'all, I'm Shata. I'm learning that from y'all. Watch how many times. But it has to come from a place of truth. Yes. Like, this is what's so profound about when I watch you speak in tongue. Mm -hmm. Like, that is so, it's so grounded in here. It's in there. It's in here. It's you know in what I mean? Miss Ma Mary put it in there. Yeah. Miss Mary How's put Ms. Mary doing? She good. I I you know, her, she can get her leg up out the chair. She'll be all right. <laughs> But Lee, hmm. as a as a director, a yep. producer, a hmm. writer, and all these things, how does it feel? Because I'm telling you, I've seen so many of your greatest movies yeah. get snubbed. Yeah. For yeah. Oscars and I Emmys don't know. and I all. Mean, here's the thing. I don't The Butler. I know. That, I know. The what, Butler I, was like thank you. The Butler was like Yeah. But here's the thing, Maddie. You don't honest to God, you don't do it for that. You do it. You do it. Because it lives in you, you do it because it is uh, it is important. God tells you. God tells me what 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 project, what television show, what film I should be doing, and uh, and you don't do it for the awards. If I did it for the awards, listen, I'd be shadow boxing. Ah, oh, you going into the? <laughs> I had lived for shadow boxer. We had a mirror in the Wow, that's a blast from the past. I live for. You know, I box. never saw that movie after I did. I I don't watch any of my films or my television shows after I, after I've done them. But uh, Shadowbox, I ain't seen that movie in twenty years. Twenty years. I loved Shadowbox. That's how long that movie was. Twenty years. You like that movie? I love Helen Mirren. Stephen like, Dorff was butt naked. Yes, <laughs> and the way you paired uh, uh, um, Helen Mirren and Cuba. Yes, and they were lovers, and yeah. I was like, "Yo, this yeah. is this was off. It was so good to me. Thank you, and thank you. That means so much. To it me. was. I watched. You know, it. as a as a recovering addict, as a as a crystal meth recovering addict, and as a alcoholic, you never take it in. I don't think it's ever my work is ever good enough. You know what I mean? Really? So, no, I don't think that's ever good enough. So when critics don't like it, I go, okay. I guess it's not worthy. But of the liking. critics ain't really the people. Like no, the people, people always love. The it. people the, love. The, Day in and day out. That I know. You yes. Know? But, you know. Because it White people places. don't understand. But they don't. I think that the critics are white people. And and, and unless you unless you know what a bowl of chitlins tastes like. Unless you know what a bowl of uh, collard greens tastes like. And to put the hot sauce on the collard greens with a little bit of onion on the side. You're going to never be able to understand the world that I come from. Correct. You know what I mean? Right. So you can't, you can't critique what you don't know. Right. They can critique what they think black culture should be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But the truth, they don't know. They don't. And that's why a lot of television shows fail. A lot of stuff fail because they're not told from the perspective of of they, the white people come in and they take it over. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to Empire. They came in and if you watch, that first season was bananas. The second season, almost bananas. But then... And the hands get on it. The white hands get on it. How do you stop the white hands from getting on it? How do you um, stop I, it? I didn't, at the time, I didn't understand. I just thought it was the way it was. You know, uh, Maddie, that was my first television show. I've never done television. Oh, before. you only did movies? I'd only done movies. Theater. I didn't even want to do movies. I, I'm a theater. I, I'm a, I, I didn't really want to uh, <clears throat> with film until I did. Uh, I'm an artist at the end of the day. So I, I, I didn't understand the business part of the television of it all. I understand now. Yeah. You know, I get it now. So good seeing you. Continue growing, continue thriving, and continue being beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed tonight's show. It was a roller coaster of information. But one thing I want you to take away from this is do not judge a book by its cover until you have all the facts, and until you've read it from, from beginning to the end to know what's going on. I want you to protect yourself, protect your brand, honey, and if you feel like you want to say it and it's your opinion, you have the right to do that. I love y'all in the words of Monique for real. See you next week. Bye.